there are some people who are not really interested in reading much. There may be some people who can't read or understand what they read, or they may be blind. So allow me to read this for you all. Develop a relationship with Jesus Christ. Are you having problems with demons? Is your life in ruin? Do you want to change your life? Do you want a closer relationship with God? Are you suffering from depression or any other mental illness? Do you need help in general? Follow everything that I am going to write below. It is really going to help you internalize all the information that I give you. We all have to make sure that we are not working against ourselves. Many of the time, we do things that harm ourselves, whether it be our intention or ignorance, repentance. Repentance is very important. Every time when you do something wrong, you must repent of it. Acts chapter 3 verses or verse 19 and 1st John chapter 1 verse 9. Basically, all you have to say, God, please forgive me. of my sins. Help me to become or be more obedient to you. You have to be serious when you say this. You have to be serious about what you are saying. Of course, you may make mistakes in the future. I understand this. Everyone is going to make mistakes. As long as you are not premeditating or planning to sin, keywords, premeditating or planning to sin, while you are repenting, your repentance will be accepted. If you are repenting and planning on sinning the next day, you are not serious about changing your ways. So how can God forgive you? He won't be able to forgive you. If you die as an unrepentant sinner, there is no way that you will be able to go to heaven according to the Bible. So we should not take repentance so lightly. If you do, you will regret it our words. Did you know that our words have power? Proverbs chapter 18 verse 21. What we say have power over us, whether it is negative or positive. When you speak negatively about yourself and things, you are attracting negativity to you. You are going to reap whatever you sow. Whatever we put out, we are going to get back. So when you speak, do, and think about bad things, negativity is going to rush back to you. It can come back in the form of anything that is negative. Media and company. You have to be extremely careful with music, movies, TV series, friends, family members, acquaintances, people, and any other entertainment source. When it comes down to entertainment sources, music, movies, and TV series, make sure you aren't watching or listening to anything immoral. 
What do I mean by immoral? Anything to do with excessive graphic sex scenes or language. Excessive vulgar language, homosexuality, criticizes God and or Jesus Christ, crude jokes, anything or any ideology that tries to falsify the existence of God and his doctrine. I am trying to be as descriptive as possible. When it comes down to people, friends, family members, acquaintances, etc., make sure that you aren't hanging around anyone who are acting immoral. I previously explained to you what I meant by immoral. Peer pressure is extremely strong, even if you think that you are a strong individual. Everyone is influenced by something or someone. You must remember we are in a spiritual war. As long as you are staying away from the things I warned you about, maintaining your salvation will be much more simple. We make our lives harder than what they should be. So if you are constantly falling back into sin, I guarantee you, you are entertaining yourself with sinful things. So it is not a surprise. Keep in mind, nothing is ever a coincidence. Everything happens for a reason. Once you understand this, your eyes will be opened. Habitual random sin. Sin is something that can allow bad things to happen to you as well. When you are disobedient to God, curses will come upon you. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verses 15 through 68. Disobeying God, doing whatever you want to do, may feel good at the time. Yet, many people don't realize what sin is doing to them. Many people should connect the bad things that they do in life with the bad things that are happening to them now. People don't do this. This is why people continue to sin and receive much punishment from it. It is like an unending process. Sin only gives you temporary enjoyment. After you do it, payment must be received. Punishment. When you obey God, you will receive blessings. Your mother and father would happily reward, reward you for being obedient to them applies to stable parents. Stable. In this aspect, God is the same. He will reward you for being obedient. He will discipline you when you are disobedient. God is our Father. Spiritual fast. You may need to go on a spiritual fast. What is a spiritual fast? Don't eat or drink anything for a particular time period. From what I know, people go on a fast from one to three days. If you are able, you should fast for more than that. The sky is the limit. The longer the fast, the better. What does a spiritual fast accomplish? Many things. It will lower your desire to sin. It will make you more focused to serve God properly. When you go on a spiritual fast, 
you should read your Bible and pray. Very important. I advise you to read in the New Testament, start in Matthew. When you pray, you are just having a conversation with God. Speak to God as if he is a friend. The way that you would speak to a friend, speak to God in the same way. Of course, be respectful. That should go without saying. You can tell God about your day and the problems that you are facing. You can tell him about the things that you want, so on and so on. Keep in mind, it is just a conversation. There is no special technique in praying. You are just speaking to God. Be honest and sincere when you are speaking to God. Reminder, as a reminder, the doctrine of once saved, always saved is a lie. What is that doctrine? As long as you believe in Jesus Christ, you can sin all you want. You will go to heaven after death. You are saved. This is a lie. In many places in the Bible, it is informing you to stop sinning. I can show you some scriptures if you like. Please request them if you are interested. How can you tell between a servant of God and a complete sinner? how they live their lives. A servant of God is going to live their life different from a sinner. If your life resembles a life of a sinner, guess what? You are a sinner. There has to be a difference. Of course, we are going to make mistakes from time to time. That is normal. When you make a mistake, quickly repent of your sins afterward, asking God for his forgiveness. Make sure you are not consistently, persistently, constantly, purposely sinning every day. If you are, I can help you more in that area. Please just ask. So this concludes for this document here. It is called Develop a Relationship with Jesus Christ. God bless.